Hello, mathematicians. My name is Matt DeSorbo, covering the Algebra series for Skew the Script. Today, we'll be discussing linear equations and making decisions, specifically in the context of LeBron James' personal training regimen. Without further ado, let's skew it. Welcome in to lesson 2.2 of our Skew the Script Algebra series, covering linear equations and making decisions. Specifically, you've probably heard of LeBron James. You might not have heard of how much he spends on his, on his body every year, $1.5 million. LeBron spends it on private staff of trainers, personal chefs, and massage therapists. He has equipment for several state-of-the-art home gyms. He even has cryo and hyperbaric chamber therapy. This all leads to the natural question, which is today's key analysis. Is it rational for LeBron to spend millions on his body? If you'd like to follow along, check out the link below. Be sure to print or download the guided notes to work through as we talk through this video. We're going to start with constructing a linear model. In December of 2020, LeBron signed an $85 million two-year contract extension with the Lakers. That means he'll be 38 years old when the contract ends. So as of the summer of 2021, LeBron's retirement age, he will be retiring at age 38 or older. The average NBA retirement age is 28. Some experts even expect LeBron to play into his 40s. What's the percent of players, NBA players, who play into their 40s? Just 0.7%. Very, very few make it to their 40s. So what financial rewards await LeBron if he joins this old man club? LeBron's current contract ends when he is 38 years old, and we can assume that his next contract will have a $20 million signing bonus, which gets paid all at once at the start of the contract, and then $30 million in salary per year played. LeBron's been played closer to $40 million per year in recent years, but we'll assume he'll get paid less as he ages, uh, as his game will slowly decline. Uh, so $30 million per year compared to $40 million. So we can construct a linear model for LeBron's total earnings. We let that be Y per additional year X that he plays in the NBA past age 38. Signing bonus again is 20 million and the playing salary will be 30 million per year. We can set up a handy dandy table with years as the X value, total earnings as the Y value. Um, if when he has played zero years, he just earns a signing bonus of 20 million. When he's played one year, he makes an additional 30 million per year. So he has his $20 million signing bonus plus 30 equals 50 per year. And then for uh, year two, we add another 30 for another year played. So our cumulative amount made for LeBron is 20 plus 30 plus 30. Year three, we add another 30. Uh, year four, we add another 30 because he's making 30 million per year. Um, again, in year zero, he has zero yearly salaries. He just has his signing bonus. In year one, he has one yearly salary. He has one 30 term. In year two, he has two yearly salaries. You can see two 30 terms. And the same with years three and four. We just have a certain number of yearly salaries. So another way to write this is by just multiplying 30 by the number of years. The first column is 20 plus 30 times zero years. The second column, 20 plus 30 times one year, et cetera. And we get these values, 20 million, 50 million, 80 million, et cetera. Um, we can even more succinctly represent this with our formula, y equals 20 plus 30x. Y is the total earnings, and X is the number of years played past 38. We can re rearrange this to make it Y equals 30X plus 20, which is Y equals MX plus B, every mathematician's favorite one-liner. Um, here, 30 or the M value is the slope, whereas B, uh, 20 is the, or 20 is the Y intercept. So now let's look at the linear model, where Y equals 30X plus 20. Again, Y is total earnings and millions of dollars. X is years after age 38. And we can now actually turn to graphing this linear model. So we have our handy dandy table. We have a chart with years after 38 on the x-axis and total earnings on the y-axis. And we can just put our dots based on x and y right on that chart. And we can draw this nice line, which is graphing the model, y equals 30x plus 20. Now let's actually interpret the slope in this context. So again, our slope or m value is 30. Um, which means every additional year LeBron plays in the NBA, he earns 30 million more dollars. Um, now we can actually think about making predictions with the linear model that we have constructed. So let's imagine that LeBron signs a new contract at age 38, but immediately, unfortunately, gets a career-ending injury. How much will he earn? So we return to our model, and since he will unfortunately get this career-ending injury, he will have X equals zero years played after age 38. 
That means we plug in zero to our linear model. We get y equals 30 times zero plus 20. 30 times zero is zero, plus 20 is 20. So we get y equals 20. Um, that gives us our y-intercept, the value of y when x equals zero, and that is $20 million. Another question is, imagine if LeBron, imagine that LeBron spending $1.5 million on his body each offseason. He does this to avoid injuries and stay in shape, extends his playing time by one year. So this gets back to the question that we started with. What will his net earnings be if he continues spending $1.5 million per year and plays until age 40? Remember, his net earnings are the total earnings he makes from a salary minus whatever he spends on his body. Um, remember that in this case, X equals two, because that's two years after age 38, if he retires at age 40. So we plug in X equals two to our equation, 30 times two plus 20. We get Y equals 60 plus 20 for a total of $80 million earnings in this model. Remember though, the net earnings is amount earned minus amount spent. We already saw that $80 was our amount earned, but our amount spent is going to be $1.5 million a year for two years, which comes out to 3 million. So we subtract three to get a net earnings of $77 million for LeBron if he retires at age 40. Here's a fun picture of uh, what old LeBron might look like, which he posted to uh, his Instagram. Um, now we can note that after age 40, LeBron might need more than one and a half million to keep his body going for more seasons. Obviously, as you get older, things begin to break down. Um, so let's imagine that LeBron has to spend 10 million, not just one and a half, 10 million on his body every year after age 40 in order to extend his career each additional year. What will his net earnings be if he plays until age 44? So that would mean X equals six, uh, six years after age 38. We plug in six to our equation, y equals 30 times six plus 20. Uh, 30 times six is 180 plus 20 comes out to 200. So LeBron has earned $200 million if he plays until age 44. Again, net earnings is amount earned minus amount spent. Um, earned is 20 million minus amount spent. From ages 38 to 40, he spends one and a half million a year for two years. And then from ages 40 to 44, he spends 10 million a year for four years. So we have 3 million from ages 38 to 40 and 40 million from ages 40 to 44, that adds to $43 million spent. We plug that into our net earnings calculation, we get 200 minus 43 is $157 million net earnings for LeBron if he plays until age 44. So we can now ask the question, is it financially rational for LeBron to spend one and a half million or even 10 million on his body each year? Again, uh, we saw the earnings, age 38, age 40, and age 44. Um, and it looks like the answer is definitely. And if he plays until age 40, age 44, he is making a ton of money, $77 million at age 40, $157 million at age 44. So we've seen that it does make financial sense for LeBron to invest in his body so he can play more seasons and earn more money. Let's turn to a discussion on a more advanced topic, expected value. So this is an advanced but very interesting question. It's beyond the scope of a typical algebra course. It is meant to be a challenge problem. So keep that in mind. Um, in reality, we discussed LeBron's sort of investment. In reality, though, spending a lot does not guarantee that you will stay in shape and injury-free. LeBron could spend $100 million on his body and still unfortunately get hurt. The efforts only reduce the chance of getting injured or getting out of shape. So let's assume the same contract stipulations as before, $20 million signing bonus, 30 million uh, per year played, but now we have the following probabilities and spending amounts. So here we have a table, uh, the left most column is years that LeBron will last in the league past age 38. The next column is the probability that he will make it that far with no spending on his body. And the rightmost column is the probability that he will make it that far spending $8 million per year on his body. We're going to assume constant spending, $8 million per year. Um, and you can clearly see that if he does not spend on his body, you can see that it's more likely that he will retire sooner. The probabilities are higher that he will last only zero or one years than if he spends the money on his body. Of course, spending on your body means more likely that he'll retire later. There's more higher numbers in the rightmost column um, as the years uh, are more down the line. So your discussion here, again, this is a challenge question. We'll work on it with your classmates. Is it worth it for LeBron to do this level of body spending? Use both the probabilities and the net values in your explanation. That's all for today. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time on Skew the Script.